In your national news, ahead of a critical funding deadline, Congress is making progress on a spending deal. Leaders announced that they've agreed on how much the budget should cost, but they haven't decided how to split the money. Washington, D.C. correspondent Hannah Brandt breaks down the agreement. Congressional leaders have only agreed on a funding framework, which is a significant step, but they still need to hash out the details and actually get the bill passed. Lawmakers are back in the Capitol after their holiday break with just two weeks until their first government funding deadline. We will have a time crunch now to avoid a shutdown. Leaders just agreed to top line spending numbers, giving $886 billion to defense and $704 billion to domestic priorities. Now they just have to decide how much of that money each federal agency gets. The deliberation can now begin on appropriations bills and we will be fighting for every dollar. The deal closely follows the spending limits that lawmakers agreed to last year. But Speaker Johnson says there are additional cuts in the bill, including cuts to the IRS and taking back $6 billion in unspent COVID relief money. Johnson told CBS that slashing spending is a top priority. We have to be good stewards of precious taxpayer resources. We, we cannot continue to borrow money to spend it. But some House Republicans are criticizing this deal for not cutting enough, with the House Freedom Caucus saying in a post on X, it's even worse than we thought. This is total failure. But President Biden and Democratic leaders support the agreement, saying it avoids some of the steeper funding cuts Republicans have been pushing for. If it's level funded, uh, we need to consider it a win. This is separate from negotiations over funding for Israel and Ukraine. Senate lawmakers are still working on a border deal as part of those discussions. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.